Hello and welcome. I just saw that the always excellent Harry Siders has put out a text function training case free to the public. Whoops, I didn't mean to search for that. Uh, I will include a link to this in the uh, in the video description. I encourage you to check it out. Uh, it says it's relatively easy, so uh, I don't think that this is meant for me to learn something from, but uh, this is Harry's way of contributing a little uh, little wisdom to the community, and Video Solve is my way of contributing a little. So let's grab it and see how we go. Okay. This, uh, enable editing would probably help. This is a case for learning a portion of the text based functions. Each of the levels will give you a strong hint, the needed functions, and a brief explanation, and you will need to learn how they work. Cool. Seems useful. Uh, pull either the leftmost or rightmost character. Okay. So we're going to say uh, if this equals left, then left of this, otherwise right of this. You could be a little more, you know, functional programmer about it and uh, and do something like, you know, let function be if this equals left, then left, otherwise right, and then apply your chosen function, but not going to be showy. <clears throat> All right, level two. Use mid to pull a portion of text from a string. So we want from this starting point to this number of characters. Mid, mailbox, starting from two, three characters, AIL. Looks good. Drop that in. Text before, text after, text split index. Whoa, we're going to throw in a bunch of stuff here. <laughs> uh, useful to break a string apart based on delimiter. Deliminator? Delimiter? Uh, options for these functions include which instance of the delimiter used to break the string apart? Okay. Uh, select the. Please select the word from the sentence. If using text before and text after, be careful of edge cases. Uh, if using index and text, but it might be easier. Okay, so we want to select word for. Uh, oh, and interesting, I was just looking, thinking, does the, does the period slash full stop, depending on where you live, get included? But Harry always thinks of these things, so there it is in the answer. So we're going to say index, text split, uh, of this <coughs> by space, and we want number one. But since we're being educational, let's try it the other way as well. Let's do uh, text after. So let's see if I want the first word. What I can do is text after space and this uh, after space, and the instance number is this. Uh, so that'll give me everything after the first space, including a space at the start of the word, and then I want the text before of that. So that, in other words, if you imagine a space here, then after the first space will give you the first word and everything else. After the second space will give you the second word and everything else. Third word, fourth word. So then we just need text before of that, and again I'm just going to add an extra space. You can also use the match modes, but I'm not 100% confident in those, or I am 100% confident in this. Uh, and that should give me just one word, and that also works. And I guess I'll leave leave some of them as each, just to mix it up. Okay. Level five, level four, upper, lower, proper. Uh, change capitalization. Yes. Update the text for the case type listed. Okay. All right. So just for just for lols, I am going to uh, do the let way this time. So let func be. I'm going to switch uh, this if it's lower. Then I want lower. Uh, if it's upper, then I want upper. Uh, and you could just say default, but let's be careful just in case there was something else. If it's proper, I want uh, proper. And I'm not including any parentheses here. So by, by default, when I complete proper, it's saying, OK, opening bracket, opening parentheses. Uh, but I don't want that. Uh, and then default will just say NA. Uh, and I guess I don't need anything for that either. And then we're going to say func of this input text. Oops. Oh, oh, no, 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 of this input text here. And we'll just check that, that works. And it does. Cool. All right. Level five. Concat find search. The concat function, well, I know what these do. Uh, find and search. Look for text. Uh, case sensitivity is fun. So combine A, B, and C string with concat, and then search it for a specific text. Enter the number returned from the search function as the answer. Okay, 
So we are using search and not find because we want to be case insensitive. Okay, so we are going to search this in concat of these. And I think we're just returning the number. Yes. Cool. Mm, okay, hard. Let's go. <laughs> uh, len returns the length of a string. Seeks, uh, okay, so we're building up to breaking into letters, I guess. Uh, use this powerful knowledge to reverse the spelling of a given word. Love it. Okay, so first thing going on here is mid. So from mid, we can take whatever the fourth character uh, and just one give us one character. Or we can take the third, or we can take the second, etc. Uh, or we can put in a sequence here, like one, two, three, and it'll give us multiple letters or best of all, which is what this is, the instructions are kind of building up to, you can do a sequence of not left, but len of this. And that will give you this sequence of len gives you all the numbers from one up to seven. And then mid with that gives you this. And then uh, I guess, does it mention, oh, it doesn't. Uh, oh, okay, yeah, I guess I was thinking you could sort this, but I guess you can also just do it with sequence by saying, uh, instead of going one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, we'll start at seven and take step of minus one, and that'll give me the letters in reverse order, and then we can wrap that in concat, and then we have nicely reversed it. And again, we can just quickly check that that matches the example, and it does, so it looks good. We'll put that in, and code and car. Okay, final challenge, use all that you've learned and turn each letter in the given word into a number and sum the result. Okay, so we're gonna mid again by this sequence len of this, one. Uh, then we're going to, let's see, are these, they're mixed case. And so there are some subtleties here, uh, but I happen to know a trick, which is that uh, the difference between these two is exactly 32. And as it happens, each one of these is a multiple of 32 plus one. So this is uh, 65 is two times 32 plus one, 97 is three times 32 plus one. Uh, so if you take your alphabet code mod 32, take the remainder what you get when you divide by 32, you're always left with one for A up to 26 for Z, which is just one of these, I, I guess it must have been on purpose when they put it in the sorry not car code. Gets me the code. And then if I take that mod 32, the remainder what I get when I divide by 32. So this second letter is A, turns into one. Uh, I is the ninth letter. I happen to know that from a very cheesy kid's joke. Uh, teacher asks for a sentence that starts with I, and the student says, I is, and the teacher cuts them off and says, no, no, you have to say, I am. He says, okay, I am the ninth letter of the alphabet. Uh, anyway, I have kids, so I'm allowed to tell very bad jokes. Uh, I just check that that's working, and it is. And I think we are done. Cool. Uh, ooh, I didn't put in my level six code. I don't know if it's going to tell me if I got these right or not. I've been doing this long enough time that I probably should have uh, pretty reliably get these right. Anyway, uh, yeah, that was uh, that was a nice, gentle introduction. But that's very much the idea. Is this is you know if you don't know these functions, this is a great way to kind of learn to use them. Like you'll see, it it tells you which functions to use, gives you the basics of how to use them, and then once you know that, you can kind of look at okay, text before. Let's see, I've got all these things, or you can hit help here, and you can it'll tell you okay, this is what to use as a delimiter. This is the instant number, default is one, negative number searches from the end. So you can just, you know, explore, play around. This is, I think this is going to be a great way for people to uh, to learn some basics. So thank you, Harry, for doing that. And that's all I got for today. I'll see you next time. Okay, fun little add-on. I didn't realize it would tell you your uh, answers here. And I didn't get full marks because I put the level six code into level five when I thought I hadn't put in my level six code, which just goes to show you that knowing all the functions is great, but if your exam technique is poor, you will not win. Uh, anyway, thank you, Harry. Awesome, uh, awesome, uh, awesome contribution. By the way, Harry has also uh, made another uh, another fun case that he is selling for the low, low price of $5. Uh, there's one that he uh, prepared for the FMWC, uh, but then decided it didn't really fit their format. Uh, so I'm going to be trying that one out before long as well. But that is all I've got for today. Thanks for watching. See you next time.